Yo, what up, everybody? Carbon Moses, you know what's up. Uh, time to do 2016 Chrome Baseball, half case number 15. Half case of the Chrysome. I don't think I've ever done this product. Only doing four boxes. Put this away. Uh, I haven't done it yet, Fitz, but you probably are, but I haven't done it yet. What up, Big Greg? All right. Real Madrid fan. What's up, dude? How do you feel about Ronaldo uh, going over to Juventus? I think you asked uh, earlier. Was that you, Fitz, that asked me about that? About the Ronaldo move? I don't know how significant it is for Real Madrid, but I can tell you it's huge for Juventus. It is huge for Juventus. Uh, I think Real Madrid is going to be just fine. Plus, you know, Ronaldo's getting old, man. It would not surprise me if we see him in the MLS in like the next two, three years. Uh, Salt... For the time being, no. But we may we may do it in the future. But as of right now, we are sold out of that right now. I don't know if we're gonna order any more again because my partner is the one in charge of that, and uh, he hasn't told me anything about the uh, heritage. We are gonna get some more Inception. I know that. That's about it. Uh, my ear is still the same. I still can't hear out of my left ear. Thank you for asking, Salt. Thank you for asking, Real Madrid. Uh, but, you know, I, I feel okay. I mean, the, the cold is still kind of lingering, which is why I think that, you know, the, the ear situation is still going on. But, yeah. Waiting for the new Madden 19 and FIFA 19, which I think will come out, like, soon, right? Usually those games come come out like in the next month or two, like usually before school starts. What's up, Wolfie? How are you? Real Madrid, you need new games. What system do you play on? Do you play on the PS4, the Xbox, or are you part of the PC Master Race? And do you only play sports games? You're on the PS4, my man. Dude, they were giving away uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 3 last month for free. This month. Oh, that, no, it was it was last month too, I think. Uh, but this week they have, uh, I think they have Heavy Rain on there, which is kind of a cool game. Um, there's this other, like, 
I forget the name of it, but it's like a fighting action game that's on there. That's, that looks pretty cool. Uh, but I think, yeah, my, my boy Eric tells me that, that the Call of Duty uh, Black Ops 3 is still free. So you can, you can go cop that, play with me, play zombies on that thing, dog. But what kind of games are you into? Uh, I'm currently playing a game called uh, Persona 5. Because I, I like RPG games. I like role-playing games. So if you're into role-playing games, I could steer you in the right direction. Uh, Deho Lee, Mariner's uh, Rookie. Carl Edwards Jr. Cubs rookie. Insert here for Luis Severino rookie Yankees. Uh, Ross Stripling rookie Dodgers. Tracy Thompson or before that Miguel Sano Twins rookie. Some of these cards stick. Uh, Tracy Thompson Dodgers rookie. Miguel Almonte Royals rookie. Nomar Mazzara Rangers rookie. This is a future stars insert. Kind of want to keep everything separate here. You like mech games? Well, I got to tell you, Real Madrid, have you played God of War yet? If you haven't played God of War, then what do you have a PlayStation for? A uh, big poppy, David Ortiz. Perspective insert, pretty cool card. Addison Russell, Future Stars insert. Uh, that is a one on one magenta plate for Tyler Naquin of the Indians. Real Madrid, you got a Ronaldo autograph? Nice. Dude, F Zero was one of my favorite games on the N64. I'm surprised they haven't come out with a Star Fox game. Gary Sanchez, rookie for the Yankees. Where am I putting the rookies there? Henry Owens, rookie Red Sox. Greg Bird, rookie Yankees. Future Star Indians. Autograph for the D-backs. Rookie auto, Brandon Drury. Horizon Zero Dawn is a really good game on the PlayStation Real Madrid fan. That's an action game. I think you'll like that one. I love that game. That game is awesome. Obviously, the Batman games. If you haven't played Batman Arkham Asylum or Arkham City, those games are the shit. Trevor Story, rookie uh, for the Rockies. Aaron Blair, Braves rookie. Uh, Joey Rickard, rookie Orioles. Frankie Montes, Dodgers rookie. Carlos Correa, future star Astros. A perspective, Byron Buxton, Twins. George Springer, Astros insert. Zach Lee, Dodgers rookie. Tyler White, Astros rookie. Blake Snell, Rays rookie. Robert Stevenson, Reds rookie. Brian Johnson, Red Sox rookie. LeVar Burton, repping the White Sox. I forgot they got like Cool looking stuff in some of these older sets. Have like celebrities and stuff. Raul Mondesi, Royals rookie. Cool looking cards. Robinson Cano, Mariners insert. Here's an auto for Alan Hansen, rookie Pirates. There's five autos per box in this stuff. Oh boy.
Pirates insert a Severino Yankees rookie, Comforto Mets rookie, Cubs insert, Rays insert, Lindor Indians insert, Turner Nationals insert, Byron Buxton, purple for the Twins, that's number to 275. Uh, Schaefer, Rookie Rays, Reynolds, Rookie Mets, uh, Smith, Rookie Braves, Schwarber, Rookie Cubs, Rookie of the Year, Chronicles, Will Myers, it's kind of a cool looking card. Cubs insert. Brewers insert. Mets insert. Rookie auto for the Cardinals, Stephen Piscotti. Mets insert uh, Stevenson Mets I'm sorry Stevenson Reds insert nice a little gold action here for the Angels Caleb Coart that's a rookie auto number to 50 nice hit for the Angels really I had no idea about that one Wolfie yeah, I used to have the same one for the 64. I still have my 64. Uh, but I don't have, like, most of the games I had, I gave away or whatever. But I still have GoldenEye. I still have Super Mario 64. And I still have uh, GoldenEye, baby. Which is really all you need. Uh, Steven Piscotti, rookie Cardinals. I also have this other really less, like, like not very well-known game called Glover. Pretty fucking awesome game. Uh, Edwards Jr. Cubs uh, rookie. Stevenson Reds rookie. Phillies insert. Dodgers insert. And we have uh, first pitch there going to the Angels. O'Brien, D-backs rookie. Astros insert. An auto for the Astros rookie, Matt Duffy, the auto. So, Wolfie, what's your favorite game, bro? Do you have a favorite game? I know, I know that's a hard, difficult question to ask. Uh, Jackson, rookie Rangers. Olivero, rookie Braves. Marte, rookie Mariners. I feel like we had six. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's why I thought it was six because we hit the plate. Super Mario. Hell yeah. The six, Mario, six, more Super Mario 64? Or like the original Mario on the Nintendo where it had like Duck Hunt paired with it. That game was legendary. Yankees will give up Andujar to get Machado. Would you give up a young, up-and-coming prospect to get Machado, who's kind of 
an established superstar ish. Armored Core for the PS1. Oh man, I remember that one. Yeah, I, I rem you mentioned you like mech games. Dude, there's this mech game on the PS2. The Zone of Enders. You ever play that game? Zone of Enders? Oh my god. Such a great game. Stupid hard. Like, a hard, like, really hard game. But it's so rewarding. It's like, oh my god, so good. Dude, Kingdom Hearts 3 comes out in uh, in January, dog. That's probably one of my favorite games right there, Kingdom Hearts. The very first Kingdom Hearts. I feel like Kingdom Hearts 2 was a little too easy. But the first Kingdom Hearts was, was tough. I remember playing that thing in high school or middle school. I was like in the ninth, ninth, eighth grade when that game came out. Man, time flies, bro. But yeah, there's this game called uh, Zone of Enders. And there's also Zone of Enders Second Run, which is a way better game. The sequel. Sequels are usually better. But anyway, uh, it, it's it's kind of like it's like a Gundam game. It's like it's a it's what a Gundam game should be, basically. If you haven't checked it out, I, I highly suggest you do. Uh, especially if you own a PlayStation. There's actually a remaster coming out. Where the uh, If I'm not mistaken, the article I read, they completely remastered the game from the ground up for the PlayStation 4. The Zone of Ender second run. Such Bro, look it up. It's such a good game. Oh, man. It's what every mech game should aspire to be. It's so amazing. Anyway, speaking of amazing, let's continue with the Chrome. Tony Zeich, Mariners rookie auto. Dude, I'm telling you, Wolfie, if you like mech games, Zone of Enders is probably the best one. Uh, don't get me wrong, our, the Armored Core games were pretty fun. But it does not hold a candle to Zone of Enders. I'm telling you. Look it up. You will fall in love. Especially since you like mech games. It's a great game, period. Anyway, Cubs insert. Uh, Rangers insert. Trevor Rosenthal for the Cardinals. That's number to 150. Tom Murphy, rookie for the Rockies. Trey Turner, rookie Nationals. Gray, rookie Rockies. Park, rookie Twins. Uh, Hazel Baker, rookie Cardinals. Sanchez, rookie Yankees. To 99, Mr. Jacob DeGrom of the Mets. So, freak of nature, would you trade Andujar... For Machado, I mean, you're probably going to have to give up more than Enduhar to get Machado with those stats that you're uh, putting out there. Peraza, rookie Reds. Drury, rookie D-backs. Naquin, rookie Indians. An Indians insert. Reds insert. Malik Smith, hold on, there's a card stuck here. In a Swiss shirt of the Red Sox insert. Malik Smith, rookie for the Braves. Uh, nope. And Duhar and Bird or a pitcher for uh, for the Machado man. Or they could just wait until 2020 when Mike Trout is a free agent. He's probably going to be the first $500 million contract in the MLB. Uh, Nola, rookie for the Phillies. Greg Bird, rookie Yankees. Rays, insert. Card stuck. The Grom insert, uh, Montage rookie Dodgers, uh, Cubs insert, 
Rays insert. Twins rookie insert. For the Phillies rookie, Jared Aikoff, the autograph. Aikoff. Stripling, rookie, Dodgers. Uh, Johnson, rookie, Red Sox. Schwarber, rookie, Cubs. R.I.P. Jose Fernandez. Dodgers insert. Bree Morse. That'll go to the Angels. Yep. Um, Ada, rookie, Dodgers. Uh, Hazel Baker, rookie, Cardinals. Berrios, rookie twins. Indians insert. White Sox insert. Berrios, uh, rookie. sec here respond to this customer you know I probably should not have gave out my personal phone number to some customers but whatever hashtag customer service have you pulled an ontani yet not an ontani kind of hard to pull an ontani in 2016 chrome seeing as how it's only available in 2018 products uh, but I've pulled my fair share of Otani's. Otani, yeah. Ontani, not so much. But Otani, yeah. Uh, Marte, rookie. Da Mar the Mariners. Cubs insert. So you're a Dodger fan, Wolfie? <sighs> Excuse me. Uh, Puig, Dodgers insert. Cubs insert. Freddie Freeman of the Cub, uh, the Braves. Gold. That's number to 50. It's all good. I was just breaking your balls, Real Madrid fan. I'm glad you have a, a, a good sense of humor, my dude. Uh, Luke Jackson, Rangers rookie. O'Brien, D-backs rookie. Oliveira, Braves rookie. Uh, Braves, rookie, Aaron Blair. For the Reds, rookie, Jose Peraza, the auto. Uh, Jason, I believe you emailed me about that. Uh, dude, we're not going to get any, I don't think we're getting any NT basketball anytime soon, uh, to be honest with you. That stuff is stupid expensive. Uh, Schaefer, rookie, raise. But if that changes, I'll, I'll let you know. But as of right now, we're not going to get any NT basketball. Uh, Reynolds, rookie, Mets. Is it raining by me? Uh, yeah. I mean, it's not raining yet, but it looks like Independence Day out there. It's uh does not look good. Maddox Smith, rookie Braves. What do I think about LeBron going to the Lakers? I think it's a great move for LeBron and for the league. Uh, you know, when, when the Lakers are a good team, it, it always 
means more money for the league, which is great. Uh, as a fan, I'm actually kind of happy he left the East because now the East is pretty much up for grabs. You know, a lot of people saying that the Celtics um, are, are the team to beat. Some people saying the Sixers. I think it's wide open. I think anybody can make some moves and, and potentially make their way to an NBA final in the East. I, I, like I said, the East to me is wide open. Uh, but as far as LeBron is concerned, I don't know, man. I, I don't know what he's thinking. I, I, I don't think he believes that the Lakers are going to be in contention for a championship his first season there. Uh, I think they're looking forward to next year when Kawhi Leonard is an unrestricted free agent. They might make a move for him. Uh, but who knows what happens this year. I, I'm hearing they might make a trade for Damian Lillard. Uh, but I'll be honest with you. I don't think LeBron's going to win a championship with the Lakers. Uh, I think I don't think LeBron's going to win a championship for the rest of his career, to be honest with you. Uh, I don't know. He Unless he does a move like Kevin Durant, Steph Curry, Klay Thompson, and the rest of the Warriors boys who are willing to take less money so they can keep that team together. Unless LeBron is willing to lose you know, millions of dollars to have a good team around them, which I don't think is going to happen, you know, because he said it before, he wants to be a max player, he wants to get his money, he wants to get paid. Uh, as far as LeBron is concerned, I think it's great for him to go to the West Coast, make things a little bit more competitive out there, a little bit more fun, a little bit more drama, uh, but, but I think LeBron is not going to win a championship for the rest of his career. Uh, I think his championship days are done. Uh, especially out there in the West Coast. Uh, but I agree with you, Real Madrid. I, I hope the Knicks do something too, man. You know, I, I miss the, the Miami Heat-New York Knicks rivalries. That rivalry was one of the funnest to watch in sports. Like, they legit hated each other. And that's always fun to watch. It's always fun to watch two teams that legit, legitimately hate each other go at it. I don't think Kobe's coming out of retirement. I, I've been hearing people say that. Kobe's going to come out of retirement to play with LeBron. Dude, if that happens, it's going to be a negative on Kobe's, uh, you know, aura, if you will. Like, you came back to play with LeBron. Nah, Kobe, you's a little bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Mets insert. Uh, Rays insert. A rookie auto redemption for Lucas Giolito. Uh, Lucas Giolito, if I'm not mistaken, is a national. But, a, you know, my baseball is not too great. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up the checklist. What is this? 2016 Chrome. 2016 Tops Chrome. As you can see, I got the checklist here for 2016 Topps Chrome Baseball. So let me see the Giolito. Giolito is a national. Boom. If you don't believe me, look at the checklist. Lucas Giolito, Nationals. I love the checklist. All right. You know, that's, that's, an, that's another thing people have been saying. You know, Kobe, the closest thing to Jordan. So it would make sense for him to emulate, you know, Jordan come out of retirement and play for the Lakers, kind of like how Michael did twice with the Bulls and then again with the Wizards. Uh, but I, you know, I think Kobe should just stay retired, man. Especially with the way he went out, bro. 
Didn't he put up like 60 points his last game? And it was like a comeback victory against the Jazz, I think. And the man scored like six. I think he scored 60 points. His last game is like his last career game ever. Went out with a bang. I say he stays retired. Because if he comes back and he doesn't win a championship, then what was the point of coming back? And I'm telling you right now, that Laker team, the way it's currently constructed, I don't think they're even making the playoffs. And if they do make the playoffs, it'll be like as a 7-8 seed, and they're getting bounced in the first round. So it would not make any sense for Kobe to come back when they have absolutely no chance of winning a championship. Unless there's catastrophic injuries to the Warriors and the Rockets teams, and even the Thunder, there's no way the Lakers are making it to the final. There's just no way. Uh, dude, I watched that. That was the game I became a Kobe fan, to be honest with you, Wolfie. You know, for the longest, I was like, I don't want to say a Kobe hater, but I was not a fan. I was not a fan. But after he scored 81 points on the Raptors, I was like, damn. I got. I had to give props. I was like, damn, you know what? I just might be watching the second greatest player next to Michael Jordan right now in Kobe. I, I watched him score 81 points too. I once seen Kobe put up like 65 points on the, I think it was against the Mavericks. Is some, hey Julie, Julie! Can you come here, please? Do you have access to our eBay account? Like messages and stuff? Because this dude has been missing a card for like two weeks. This dude right here, I have his like eBay name. The dude just mailed, like the guy who has his card just sent me a message back saying he still has it, but he hasn't gotten a shipping label. So is there any way you could like mail him a shipping label or something? Um, you have to give me the name, the name of the character. Okay, I got you. I'll leave a note on your desk or something. Thank you. We have a Mets insert, Twins insert, uh, that's a Phillies insert, Kevin Pillar of the Blue Jays to 99, Kobe only 39 years old, bro, he's not coming out of retirement, I'm sorry, he is not. Kepler, rookie Twins, Seager, rookie Dodgers, Nola, rookie uh, Phillies, Phillies insert, Pirates insert, uh, Kelby Tomlinson, rookie auto for the Giants. Edwards Jr. Cubs rookie, Bird Yankees rookie, Stevenson Reds rookie, Cardinals insert, uh, Mets insert, Piscotti Cardinals rookie, Uh, Brewers rookie, Jorge Lopez, Severino Yankees rookie, <laughs> Jim Harbaugh Tigers, Trey Turner rookie Nationals, John Gray rookie Rockies, uh, Byung-Ho Park rookie Twins,
a pirate's insert. I believe this is the second one. Malik Smith rookie auto for the Bereaves to four ninety nine. You cannot compare Vince Carter to Kobe. <laughs> that is just that is oh god. Dude, there is no comparison there. That's like comparing you know what that's that's literally you the that comparison is like comparing Dominique Wilkins to Michael Jordan. Two great players, but Dominique Wilkins and Vince Carter do not hold a candle to Kobe and Michael. They just don't. Uh Indians, Naquin rookie. If Kobe came out of retirement, though, that would be a pretty awesome story. But I don't think it's going to happen. Especially with the way the man played. He played through so many injuries. I think he's happy just being retired right now at this point. Kevin Willis, all he did was gra grab rebounds and play defense, freak of nature. So be quiet. Uh, Tom Murphy, rookie, Rockies. Man who's 38 doesn't play defense. Uh, Dirk, 38, doesn't play defense. Jason Terry, 38, doesn't play defense. You want to keep going? Dominique was better than who? I don't think you understand the comparison, Chris Thomas. Dominique is Vince Carter in this comparison. And Kobe and Jordan would be like the same play. Like, you know what I'm saying? Lindor Indians insert. Dodgers insert. Dude, you can you can you can you please don't God, you're killing me, Chris, with the way you spell Kobe right now. Uh Parazzo, rookie for the Reds. Brandon Drury, rookie for the D-backs. So Chris Thomas, you're telling me that Dominique was better than Kobe? Hmm. You might be the only person on earth that feels that way. Kobe's nowhere near Jordan. Ah, the numbers uh, are not in your favor, my man. Odorizzi, Rays insert. Well, Ben Davis and Chris Thomas, are you guys are the only two humans on the planet that think Dominique was better than Kobe. <laughs> There's just no way. There's no way. Byron Buxton, Twins insert. Aaron Nola, Phillies rookie. Raul Mondesi, rookie for the Royals to 150. Dude, Domin Dominique himself would tell you that he doesn't even hold a candle to, Domin to, to Kobe. Like, Dominique himself will tell you, bro, what are you talking about? Kobe, way better than me. And that's a human highlight reel. Uh, Shore Recubs rookie. Whatever you guys are smoking, please send some to Miami. But keep it on the low. Because the feds are watching. Uh, Jorge Lopez, rookie Brewers. Well, I don't know, Chris. Let, 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 how many times has Dominique Wilkins made an all-NBA defensive team? How many times has Dominique Wilkins made an all-NBA first team? How many MVPs does Dominique Wilkins have? How many championships did Dominique Wilkins win? I mean, let if, if we're talking numbers, let's pull up the numbers, dog. <laughs> there is no comparison. Uh, Seung Juan O, oh, rookie for the Cardinals. Michael Conforto, Mets rookie. Although I will say, great job trolling me. Your hatred for Kobe must be strong, my man. I don't blame you, though. I hated Kobe for a while, too. Stripling rookie Dodgers until I just paid respects to, to his greatness. Brian Johnson rookie Red Sox. Cubs insert. What do you say to that, Chris Fitz? You think Dominique was better than Kobe? I mean, don't get me wrong. Dominique, an amazing player. Freak of nature. And I ain't talking about Silverman. The human highlight reel. But, but I don't think there's, like, any comparison at all. Ross Stripling, rookie 
Auto for the Dodgers. How will LeBron be known as the greatest Laker ever? Uh, he won't. <laughs> LeBron, LeBron won't even go down as a top 10 Laker when it's all said and done. Because he's only going to be there for like four years. And he's not going to win a championship with the Lakers. Like, period. But I agree, Chris Fitz. It's, it's definitely hard to compare players in different eras. Different rules, play styles, etc. Maeda, rookie, Dodgers. Hazel Baker, rookie, Cardinals. Barrios, uh, rookie, Twins. So, yeah, it's, it's really hard to compare players, you know, that played in different eras. Uh, Astros insert. Yankees insert. Kyle Waldrop, rookie for the Reds. And that's number to 150. The auto. Uh, it's like comparing Charles Barkley to Carl Malone. know about that one when you consider Charles Barkley was basically six foot four and the man was a almost averaged a double double for his career right who does not belong in the same conversation you, you so you're telling me Kobe does not belong in the same conversation with Jordan or LeBron is that what you're saying Chris Exactly, you know. I, listen, we're just we're talking here, baby. I, I I love talking sports, man. Zach Lee, rookie Dodgers. Tyler White, rookie Astros. I kind of want to agree with you, Chris, but I think right now, oof, I don't know, man. If like for example, if you were to ask me, who would I rather have on a team? Like, I think right now, currently, like right now, I think Kobe's numbers better than LeBron. But then again, Kobe has played longer than LeBron. His career is done already. So we can look at it from that perspective. Like, we can look at his whole career. LeBron still has another four who knows how many years to play, right? As of right now, my personal opinion, I think Kobe's numbers are better than LeBron. Like, overall. All right? When it's all said and done, though, I think LeBron will be better than Kobe. Uh, and my thing is this. If you were to ask me who would I rather have on my team, Kobe or LeBron, it's not even close. Give me Kobe. Prime Kobe over prime LeBron any and every day of the week. People forget just how good Kobe was in his prime. Like... Not only was he the best offensive player, but he could shut down your best uh, player, too, on defense. Like, he was all NBA, defense, offense. Like, he was the best player in the league, and it wasn't even close. You know, Kobe was clutch. Kobe was willing to take the last shot. Kobe was willing to take up, put up 30, 40 shots to, 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 to have his team win. LeBron, obviously, a different player. But if you ask me, who would I rather have on my team? I would rather have Kobe. I would rather have an assassin compared to LeBron, who's more of a Magic Johnson type player. But that's just me. You know, I like players that will do anything to get that W. Blake Snell, Rays rookie. Plus, to me, LeBron's a bit of a diva. LeBron's a little bit of a diva, and I, I'm not really, I don't really like that. Uh, Mariners insert. Not to say Kobe wasn't a diva. Kobe was a diva too, but I don't know, man. I feel like LeBron spends way too much time crying to the referees where Kobe will cry, but then he'll just get back on D. Uh, Robert Snyder, rookie Yankees. But now I'm curious to see what LeBron's going to look like now with the Lakers. Uh, I feel like the Lakers are going to have LeBron just be a straight-up scorer. Like, just go and score the ball. Don't worry about dishing the ball. That's why they got Lonzo and Rondo. Just score the ball, LeBron. Put him on, put him on the block. Have him, you know, have him, you know, back, him, back somebody down. Play in the post a little bit more. 
Go out there, give me 10 rebounds a night. Give me 20 and 10. And we in there. Blue Jays insert. Tom Murphy. Auto rookie for the Rockies. All right, let me put you in this scenario, Chris Thomas. LeBron uh, versus Kobe one-on-one. -on -one. Who would you rather have in the last shot? Who would you rather have with the last shot? Would you rather have LeBron take the last shot? And he has to take the last shot, not just pass it to somebody and make the right basketball play? Or would you rather have Kobe take the shot? You'd rather have LeBron take the shot? Huh. Curious, Chris. Uh, Chris, can I ask you one last question? How old are you? Swing Juan O, rookie Cardinals. Phillies, insert. You would rather have LeBron take a shot over Kobe? Oof. I don't know, bro. Okay, Chris. I was going to say, because if you were like a young boy, I'd be like, well, listen, you know, You've only seen LeBron your entire life. So you would be a little bit biased in that sense. Uh, but yeah, dude, you're, you're old enough to, to have seen Kobe, Michael, maybe even Dr. J and Larry Bird and them boys. But, you know, I, I can't say you're wrong and I can't say you're right, Chris. Obviously, it's, it's all opinion. But personally, I would rather have Kobe on my squad than LeBron. Like, if I had a choice, I would rather have Kobe than LeBron. Larry Bird versus Dirk Nowitzki would be a pretty sick one-on-one, -on -one, though. And I got to give the slight edge to Dirk Nowitzki, man. I know, I know Larry Legend, his career was derailed with his back injuries and stuff. If, if that didn't happen, who knows what his numbers would look like. But, you know, that unfortunately, that is what it is. But in their prime, ah, it would be a tough one, man. Ain't nobody stopping that, that Dirk Nowitzki baseline fadeaway jumper. That thing is money. That might be like one of the most unstoppable moves in all of basketball. Aside from like the, the sky hook. But Larry Bird could just shoot it from anywhere, man. Larry Bird was lights out. I, I didn't get to see him live. I've only ever seen like tape of him. And like, and dude, I'm like, I love basketball to the point where I would sit there and I would watch like vintage games on ESPN Classics with like the Lakers and the Celtics going at it, the Celtics and the Pistons going at it. You know, the Celtics and the Hawks when Dominique was like balling. And I would just sit there and be amazed at Larry Bird. Like, man, not the most athletic dude, but he wanted it more than everybody on the court every time. I just I love basketball. I can't wait till he till it comes back. Uh, Dodgers insert, Red Sox insert. I'm really looking forward to bask uh, football season. Actually, Royals rookie insert, Carl Edwards Jr. rookie for the Cubs. That's the two seventy five. Oh, we're only like 60 days away from Fool's Ball. Miguel Sano Twins rookie. Tracy Thompson Dodgers rookie. Miguel Almonte Royals rookie. Jordan's probably counting his monies right now. Henry Owens rookie. Uh, Red Sox. Probably banging some 20-year-old right now, Mark. You know, because he's Michael Jordan. J.D. Martinez, Tigers insert. John Gray, Rockies uh, rookie. A red Clayton Kershaw. Uh, Wolfie, where have you been, bro? Because there's five autographs in a box. So you, you've you either must be blind or you have not been paying attention. Uh, three out of five Clayton Kershaw, Dodgers. That red is pretty sweet.
Jordan should come back and play with LeBron. <laughs> yeah, LeBron, I mean, well, well, how old is Jordan? Jordan's only like 50-something. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he could come back and put up 15 points a game, no problem. Aaron Blair, uh, Braves rookie. Gary Sanchez, Yankees rookie. Well, that's true, Wolfie. But, but here I am still doing what I do. But don't worry, man. I'll do a recap at the end. I always do. Uh, Mariners insert. Mookie Betts, Red Sox insert. Uh, Kevius Sampson, rookie for the Reds. Auto. You know, I should have really brought the GOAT. Because if I had my pick of any player in the NBA to pick, including Jordan, I would pick Allen Iverson over Michael Jordan. Call me crazy. I don't care. But I would pick Allen Iverson over anybody in the NBA. But that's just because he's my favorite player. Uh, Blake Snell, Rays rookie. Trevor Story, Rockies rookie. All right. I'm going to respond to this human here. Twins rookie, insert. Trevor Story, Rockies rookie. Jose Berrios, rookie auto for the Twins to 250. Jordan would average nine points, two assists, four boards. No problem coming off the bench. But Michael Jordan being Michael Jordan, he's be like, yo, I ain't coming off the bench for nobody. I don't care how old I am. I'm Michael Jordan. Buy my shoes. Mondesi, Royals uh, rookie. Oh, snap. Let me far forget. Joey Rickard, Orioles rookie. I love how we were talking basketball the entire time, and this is a baseball break. <laughs> uh, Brewers, insert. R.I.P. Jose Fernandez. Tom Watson, that'll go to the Royals. Severino, rookie Yankees. Mets, Conforto rookie. Deho Lee, Mariners rookie. Twins insert. Brian Ellington, rookie auto for the Marlins. I was just going to say that LeVar would put Michael in his place. <laughs> no more Mozara, rookie for the Rangers. Plus... Jordan's too busy running a team to the ground out there with the Hornets. Mets insert. Turner rookie Nationals. Conforto Mets. Rookie insert, Snell, Rays rookie.
Lopez, Brewers rookie. Swing Hoyan, all rookie Cardinals. Rays insert. Pirates insert. Yankees insert. Josh Reddick of the A's. That is to 150. Carrasco Indians insert. Stripling rookie Dodgers. Johnson Red Sox rookie. Schwarber Cubs rookie. Jose Fernandez Marlins. Rest in peace. Uh, Murphy rookie. Royal Rockies. Tyler White, Astros rookie. Max Kepler, Twins rookie auto. Kenta Maeda, Dodgers rookie. I wonder I wonder what LeVar Ball is going to say when they trade Lonzo out of uh, out of Los Angeles. <laughs> To like Milwaukee or something. <laughs> Hazel Baker, rookie Cardinals. Berrios, rookie Twins. Ain't nobody trying to deal with LeVar Ball. I f you know, I kind of feel bad for Lonzo. But not really. All he has to do is tell his dad to shut the fuck up. Cubs insert. Yo, dad. Sit your old ass down. I'm playing. You not. Or something to that effect. Bianco Park Twins rookie. Korea Astros insert. Bianco Park rookie Twins. James Taylor. Some dude. I guess he's a singer. Going to the Red Sox. Zach Lee, rookie Dodgers. Tyler White, Astros rookie. Twins insert. And probably the last auto, Kyle Waldrop, rookie auto for the Reds. Yeah, Lonzo does have an agent. It's called uh, Big Baller Brand. Which now stands for uh, Brom Brom Ball. Phillies, Franco insert, Sarah Snyder, Yankees rookie. And that, my friends, is going to do it for the break. Woo! That took a while. All right, uh, let us begin this recap. All right, no relics in this set, but parallels, yes. Number to 275. Carl Edwards Jr. Cubs rookie. Byron Buxton Twins rookie. Number to 150, we have Josh Reddick A's. Raul Mondesi Royals rookie. And Trevor Rosenthal Cardinals. Number to 50, Freddie Freeman of the Braves. I skipped the greens, which are to 99. Kevin PR Blue Jays. And Jacob DeGrom Mets. But we did hit a red. Clean Kershaw red for the Dodgers. That's number three out of five. Very nice. And now for the autos. Let me uh, separate a little here. It's a one one. It's 50. Boom. 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 Awesome. So we did hit a plate. Tyler Naquin of the Indians 101. Uh, Kyle Waldrop, Reds. Max Kepler, Twins. Brian Ellington, Marlins. Kevian Sampson, Reds. Tom Murphy, Rockies, Ross Stripling, Dodgers, Malik Smith, da uh, Braves, 
Kelby Tomlinson Giants, Jose Peraza Reds, Jared Akoff uh, Phillies. Well, the refractors are numbered to 499, so that Akoff is to 499. Uh, I think I've passed a few others too. And a couple. So the Kyle Waldrop of the Reds is to 499. Malik Smith Braves also to 49. The Jared Akoff Phillies also to 499. While I'm at it, let me double check the others. All right, there's other one to 499. Allen Hansen Pirates rookie. All right, these are not numbered. Malik Smith Braves, you know, because he hit twice. Uh, Tony Zyke Mariners, Matt Duffy Astros, Stephen Piscotti Cardinals, Brendan Drury D backs, Giolito Nationals Redemption. Jose Barrios of the Twins rookie, number to 250. Kyle Waldrop of the Reds, number to 150. And Caleb Cowart, rookie for the Angels, number to 50. And that was the break. 2016 Chrome Baseball Jumbo, half case, number 15, eBay style. Thank you very much.